<laughs> Hello everyone. Hope you all had a great Monday. Mine was not too bad. Been getting ready for Halloween and uh, speaking of spooky stuff, it's time for another spooky places. <laughs> and this week we shall visit a few places that reportedly have a lot of spooky stuff going on. And the first place we'll stop at is the Pitok Mansion. I think I'm saying it correctly. It's in Portland, Oregon. The Pitok Mansion is a 22-room French chateau in the hills overlooking downtown Portland. And it was built in 1922. <clears throat> it was open to the public in 1965 and has been the host of ghost sightings including floating old ladies, boots walking without legs, portraits moving of their own accord, windows opening and shutting themselves, and perhaps the most improbable, a tree with a face in it. The mansion was also the where they filmed the 1982 slasher classic uh, Unhinged and uh, Madonna's 1983 answer to Sharon Stone's basic instinct clunker body of evidence. <laughs> We now move on to Croke Patterson Mansion in Denver, Colorado. According to legend, Thomas B. Croke built the house in 1892, entered it once, and was so scared he told that he sold the place two years later. Throughout the 20th century, it changed hands frequently. While being converted to office space in the 1970s, workmen reported having their previous day's work undone. They left two Doberman, Doberman pinchers to guard the place, only to find the dogs dead the next day after either jumping or being thrown from a third-story window. Workers subsequently reported growling, of course, and typewriters working of their own accord. A seance was held in the house to explain the phenomena, which revealed that a young girl had been entombed in the basement. Excavators found a secret passage and room which was mysteriously filled with sea, sand, but nobody was found. <laughs> we now move to the Walker House in Mineral Point, Wisconsin. Imposing Inn, originally built in 1836, the Walker House has been the site of numerous paranormal claims since the 60s. <coughs> including disembodied voices and the personage of one William Cafe, a local man sentenced to death for murder. According to legend, Cafe was conveyed to his own hanging, held in front of the Walker house, in a wagon sitting on his own coffin. <coughs> he then may or may not have been accidentally decapitated during his hanging. Interesting. And we move on. The Crenshaw House in Junction, Illinois. Home of John Crenshaw served as a station on the Reverse Underground Railroad where Crenshaw was responsible for the kidnapping and illegal trafficking in freed or escaped slaves <coughs> to work the salt mines. Third floor attic was constructed with tiny cells to house the slaves. Moanings, chains dragging along the floor, and the singing of spiritual music are still said to be heard on the site. In the act of reprisal, Crenshaw lost his leg after being attacked with an axe by one of his own slaves. <laughs> and the last stop today is the Smurl House in West Princeton, Pennsylvania. You gotta give Jack and Janet Spurl credit for being resilient or stubborn, stupid and uh, masonistic. The couple lived in this split house built in 1896 on an abandoned coal mine and beginning in 1974 they were they and their four daughters were reportedly tormented by evil spirits. For the next 15 years the Smurls Spurls were plagued by everything from exploding televisions and 
something that levitated and threw their ger family's German shepherd to an incubus that reportedly raped various members of the family. After repeated church-sanctioned exorcisms only served to piss off the spirits even more, the family moved out, and then the next person to uh, live in the house died of a drug overdose. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed the tales for this week, and wishing you all a spooky night. Ha, 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 ha.